So a common question that I get is what GraphQL server should I use? This is usually coming from someone who hasn't used GraphQL very much and they're seeing three different GraphQL servers and they're wondering which one they should pick or use. Now the three that I most see or get asked about is one, Apollo Server 2. Secondly is GraphQL Yoga and three is Express GraphQL. Now before I begin, I'm gonna kinda go over what I'm currently using uh, and why I picked the one I'm using. But overall, all three of them, uh, I don't think you can really choose a wrong choice and any of them are gonna work out well for you. So starting off with Express GraphQL, I've actually never really used this package at all. And really the, the, the reason for that is it just has always had the least features. And so I did not go with it. Um, and so for a while I was using Apollo Server version one and then GraphQL Yoga came out and it basically made creating GraphQL servers a lot easier because it bundled all the packages together. Um, so if you wanted to add subscriptions, um, it was already baked into GraphQL. You didn't have to add another package or it's baked into GraphQL Yoga. So I was using this for a while and I really liked it and I still think it's a good library to use. Um, and then most recently, Apollo Server version two came out and I switched over to this to give it a try. Um, and you can kind of look at the what's new of Apollo Server 2 and see what they added. And basically they took GraphQL Yoga and added a few things onto that. Um, but to be totally honest with you, they didn't really add anything that I'm currently using. So I'm currently using Apollo Server 2. Reason being, that's really, uh, I see the most popular one that I see most people using. Um, and then also it has a few additional features on top of GraphQL Yoga. Now, I don't really use too many of them. I like maybe use the health checks, but this is very easy to replicate in uh, GraphQL Yoga and is a very simple route if I wanted to use it. Um, but I'm pretty much using Apollo Server version two the same way I'm using GraphQL Yoga, and they're super inter interchangeable. In fact, when I was changing out the code for one of my projects over to Apollo Server two to just check it out, um, I changed in maybe five minutes and it was not a huge deal. Uh, so I can pretty much swap between them pretty easily. Now, Apollo Server 2 pretty much has the most features right now, I would say. And the cost of that is its bundle size is a lot bigger. So we can take a look at it. It's 528 kilobytes. So this is something if you care about bundle size, um, well, it's on the server side, so it's, I guess you could say, less important. And you may not be bundling your server, but your package, your node modules is going to be a lot bigger. So compare this 528 to Express GraphQL, which is 180 kilobytes, so a lot smaller. So while this has the least features, because of that, it's a lot smaller. And so you may want to consider it if you care about the bundle size. Because you can still get everything you get with Apollo Server version 2 with Express GraphQL. You just have to either add packages on top of it um, and so or implement it yourself. So with this, I could just use Express GraphQL and then I could add the libraries that I want on top of it. And then I'm gonna get a leaner bundle size that way. Um, and then GraphQL Yoga 2 is about the same size as Apollo Server 2. But another thing to look at is the composition of what the uh, actually gives it this size. So for example, GraphQL Yoga includes GraphQL in inside of it. So no matter which library you're installing over here, you're gonna be installing GraphQL. So you could kind of subtract what, 223 kilobytes uh, from GraphQL Yoga size, because you're gonna be installing GraphQL no matter what library you choose over here. And we can take a look at Apollo Server 2. A big chunk of it is the Apollo Engine, for example. If you're not using Apollo Engine, then you may want to just avoid using this if you don't want that bundle size, uh, if you care about that. For me right now, I don't really care too much about the bundle size, and I'm pretty much using Apollo Server because if I want to use any of this stuff, it's going to be compatible with the, the latest Apollo suite as well. Uh, but again, I don't think it really matters which one you're using. And I would just pick one and try it out and kind of compare what they have and see which ones you need for the project you're working on. If my project doesn't care about any of these features, and I just want a simple GraphQL server, then I'm going to pick Express GraphQL. It's the lightest and it's going to be simplest to just set up and go with. Um, for the time being though, I'm using Apollo Server version 2. But I'm curious what you guys have used and what you guys think of the comparison or if there's any other GraphQL servers that you have enjoyed using.